From dystopian movies to media outlets, the fear of artificial intelligence is the story that always seems to captivate us. Is it man versus machine, machine infusing with humans, or a bit of both? Nearly two years after the launch of ChatGPT, Sam Altman, the OpenAI team, have managed to strike lightning twice by showcasing the progress towards generative AI with their new breakthrough, Sora. Creating video from text, Sora is an AI model that can generate video models from text inputs. Users are able to type text prompts in the chatbot to generate video in a matter of seconds. With the genie out of the bottle and the race towards artificial general intelligence, the exponential leaps and bounds of Sora will shift the way we consume and produce content forever. In this video, we will outline how OpenAI will forever change content creation with Sora. We'll dive into Sora's influence on content creation, Sora's influence on content consumption, and what this means for us as avid consumers, those in the content creation industry, and OpenAI as a company. Hey everyone, welcome to Alexandria, where we discuss and observe finance, economics, and business topics that are relevant in our everyday life. Technological breakthroughs aren't new in content creation. Throughout history, we've had developments across the creation and the distribution of content. If we look at the creation and production of content, we went through technological advances with animation, color, and computer graphics. When looking at the distribution of content, we went from traditional cinemas and movie theaters to the silver screen era with TVs, and now the smartphone era with social media and apps. If you observe the following trends for how technological innovations stick in content creation, they must do either or both of one, increase the level of scale and reach, which impacts the amount of viewership for content, and or increase productivity, which impacts the quality and quantity of content produced. With Sora, having a text to video prompt at the tip of your fingers helps democratize the creative process to generate high quality video content at scale. Typically, content creators that need to incorporate video content should either one, license content from a service by paying a la carte or with a subscription. For example, with Shutterstock or Storyblocks. Two, hire a third party agency or production team to capture the content if they want a customized video. Or three, bootstrap and produce the content in house with their existing infrastructure and team. So imagine instead of flying over to Japan, hiring actors and doing scenic shots, or downloading the license from various stock footage websites for the right shot, with Sora, you are able to simply type the prompt to generate your desired footage. Sora eliminates the heavy lifting of video production, so creators can focus on the other parts of the creative process. The content creation process is multifaceted, where there are multiple roles and countless tasks to manage. Whether it's a YouTube video or a motion picture film, each project involves the steps around ideation, writing, filming, production, and post-production. The use cases for creators to quickly source video footage, animation, and or simulations provide efficiencies to save time time and money. The average cost for a stock footage subscription would usually run from $10 to $30 a month, although these stock libraries are restricted when it comes to the selection of content and the resolutions. However, if you want a more custom selection, the median salary of a videographer in the United States is over $72,000 a year. And if you would like to outsource video production, video shoots range from $50 to $300 an hour just for the cost of the camera crew. This does not include the other variable costs from project deliverables such as actors, filming locations, set design, accessories, makeup, VFX, animation, and travel. All in all, for a fully outsourced video production team, it can range anywhere between $15,000 to $95,000 with a lot of variable costs based on the project scope. Ultimately, Sora reduces the friction in sifting through a stock footage library for the perfect shot to fit in the scene or managing in-house or outsourced teams to execute the vision of the creator. Here are just a few examples of the prompts Sora was able to generate. Video continues to be the fastest growing form of content. The global video production market size is estimated to be $70 billion in 2022 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 33.5% from 2023 to 2030. 
Similar to how YouTube and podcasting lowered the barriers to entry for independent content creators, text to video generation platforms like Sora will further incentivize more independent content creators by reducing overhead on expenses for video production. More content creators equals more content, and more content equals a larger selection of content for viewers to choose. According to Coherent Market Insights, for North America, the creator economy market size was valued at $18 billion in 2023 and is expected to grow to $143 billion by 2030, which represents a staggering 34.7% compound annual growth rate from 2023 to 2030. According to the paradox of choice, when one has an abundance of content and information, the volume of content to choose from isn't the issue. It actually becomes a question of how we as viewers develop and manage the ability to think critically and filter through all that information. And this leads us to our next part. So one of the main priorities of Sora is to build general purpose simulators of the physical world. By having text to video prompts, Sora would generate not only the objects and the keyword prompts, but also how the surrounding details and background characters would exist in that physical realm. While the technology is still in development, the rate of progress over just one year is leaps and bounds over previous iterations. As of early 2024, there are several aspects such as the laws of physics or the sequencing of shots that may not mimic the real world. However, the fact that we went from Will Smith as a meme eating spaghetti to shots like this proves how quickly the AI race is advancing. But the question remains, if or when Sora or generative AI models perfect the content in a way that is indistinguishable with the real world, how will this impact viewers and how content is consumed? With independent content creators and traditional media providing various angles and perspectives, the volume of information is bombarding viewers as to how they assess if the information is fact, fiction, or opinion. Imagine a scenario where generative AI is utilized to affect legal decisions, provide news coverage, and communication due to the realistic content it is producing. This would cause confusion and hysteria among viewers if you are not able to identify if something is created with generative AI or not. As of now, the OpenAI team has watermarks and is currently working on tagging metadata to identify whether a video was generated by Sora. While watermarks and tagging are steps in the right direction, there would need to be additional advancements in identifying whether a certain type of content is generated by AI, as well as regulation to mitigate pitfalls around this breakthrough technology. The case study around how policymakers manage deepfakes would give some foresight into how this would apply to Sora and other text-to-video generative AI technologies. From a viewership standpoint, if generative AI content becomes the main source of video production, there still needs to be a clear distinction as as to why certain viewers gravitate to a certain type of content. Technology through visual production and animation is advancing, but creativity, that is still a human element. If we observe some of the best movies in history, from The Godfather to Titanic to The Dark Knight, while production is a key element in creating great content, it is ultimately the theme, the storytelling, the plot, and the characters from the ingenuity of the writers and directors that capture the audience's heart. As technology advances, advances to improve the quantity of high quality video production, the human elements around storytelling and authenticity will continue to be a competitive advantage as to why certain content pieces stand out from others. So what does this mean for avid consumers and viewers, for content creators, and for OpenAI as a company? For those consuming content, whether it's on Netflix, YouTube, or social media platforms, there won't be a shortage of compelling video footage for you to consume. But for viewers, the focus isn't on distinguishing between AI or actual video footage. The focus should be on knowing how to distinguish between whether content is fact fiction, or opinion. Going forward, the interpretation of information will become harder to do as generative AI looks more and more like something that would be captured in the real world. So when it comes to consuming content, don't be too over-reliant on visuals and appearances. Rather, as consumers of content, we have to make sure to use our intuition, our ears, and our critical thinking ability. From independent creators to full-scale production houses, all players in this industry will need to continue to produce high-quality video content at 
at high volume and frequency. For those who are content creators, the principles of storytelling and authenticity will forever remain a competitive advantage, as there will be lower barriers to entry in producing high quality video content. And for those involved in the video production process, technology has always progressed in waves. When you observe the evolution of Disney's hand-drawn animations to Pixar's computer animation, the top tier photographers and videographers will always remain. However, those who thrive in production combine various skills and learn to leverage new technologies to add value to the marketplace. Sam Altman and OpenAI's mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all of humanity. ChatGPT created value by leveraging artificial intelligence to compile information and generate new forms of written content. With Sora, the goal is to create realistic and immersive visuals with text prompts. This will unleash various use cases in the content creation space and beyond. While it has made significant strides, Sora is still in development, but is crucial in OpenAI's goal of building a general purpose simulator of the physical world. And as technology enthusiasts here at Alexandria, we're excited to see how these new developments play out over the next decade. So if you like this video, you can check out a similar breakdown for technology trends here on this channel, where we do video essays on how we observe business, finance, and economics in our everyday lives. And we will see you in the next one.